Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Diana. Today we are talking about praying for our enemies. See, Jesus, he's teaching the crowd of people in today's verse. And one of the sentences in his teachings, it's found in Matthew 5, verse 43. And Jesus says, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. He goes on to say, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Pray for those who persecute you, Jesus said, and pray for your enemies. What a clear call from Jesus in his teaching to pray for your enemies who persecute you. Yet, if we're honest, this is challenging, isn't it? It's hard to do. Many of us, we would rather talk about our enemies or we would rather tear down our enemies with our words or our actions. We often tend to devalue and at worst dehumanize our enemies with our words. Yet here, Jesus in his teaching is inviting us to pray for our enemies. What does that mean? He's saying talk to God about the very people that we would choose to call enemy. Here's an idea that has helped me with this teaching that's very difficult at times, is this idea is when I pray for my enemies or those who persecute me, I have to remember what is true about God because prayer is talking with God. So I rem when I remember the character of the one that I'm talking to about my enemy, it helps me place my enemy into his hands because God is just and God is wise. God is already aware of everything happening and God is good. For example, uh, to start praying for my enemy, sometimes it looks like me when I'm starting, I just place them in my hands. I, I bring them to God. And sometimes as I try to lean into the practice of praying for my enemies, I'll then in time start to bring my protest or my complaint or my hurt about my enemies to God. I, I pray about it. And often as I do that in time with God's help, he will expand my prayers for my enemies where I'll soon start praying scripture for them and even blessing if you can imagine that. Well, let's practice this together today. Is there an enemy, big or little, that's coming to you to mind right now as you listen to this? We're gonna take them to God in prayer together. And we're just gonna pray that first step in taking them to God before our enemies. And then if you wanna continue this practice in the days and weeks ahead, you too might find that you'll start to bring your complaint before God. And maybe, just maybe, you'll find you'll start to pray scripture and the promises of God and maybe even blessing over your enemy but let's just take the first step together. Pray this with me. We're gonna pray, God, <laughs> we come to you right now in prayer. We remember, God, who we're talking to, that you are holy, that you are good, that you are listening to us. Jesus, we want to follow your commands and it's hard. So to start with, we simply bring our enemies to you right now like you told us to in prayer. We bring you our thoughts and our feelings about them. We know we're talking to you and we just, we bring that person, that situation that's in our mind into your hands. And Jesus, many of us who are praying right now, we have a lot of feelings <laughs> in this moment. It's confusing, it's frustrating, it's hard, it's uncomfortable, but we trust you, God. We believe that what you ask us to do in scripture is for your glory and our good. God in time, would you show us what else to pray for our enemies? We give them to you. It's in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. And in time, like we mentioned, you might be able to continue in prayer to bring your protest, your hurt, your thoughts about the situation to God honestly when you're ready. And in time, you might be able to pray scripture, God's promises, even God's blessing over your enemy and you will find freedom in God's ways. Let God lead you today as you pray for your enemy. Blessings, friends.